Yeah, are you familiar with the name um, Stephen Greer? Dr. Stephen Greer? Let me get it right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, let, top secret information. I'm just not releasing. I'm a huge UFO like fanatic. In the third grade, I had a, I, I was doing bad in school. But I had an after-school program. My teacher, Mr. Larkin, if you're still out there, man, uh, my third grade teacher, he allowed me to have my own Area 51 club. And I, yeah, I was the leader of the Area 51 club, me and two other nerds. And it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was, I've always been a UFO alien guy. Anything involving, a and I've, I'm not going to say I have video of UFOs on my phone, but I've seen some stuff in my backyard. I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm glad, number one, that you know that name. Oh, yeah. Number two, I was gonna ask you, do you believe in aliens? So now that we've established that you believe in aliens, I believe the conversation in, I believe good. in entities. I don't, I'm not gonna, I used to believe in aliens, like from a different planet, but I believe in entities, maybe like interdimensional travelers or what our ancient ancestors believed to have been angels, stuff like that. I think. They're interdimensional beings. I don't know if their life exists on other planets. I don't think that anymore. I think it's just from a different dimension, reality, something. Really? Yeah. I don't think it's life on like another planet or in the universe like that. I think it's, and a lot of people, I used to think that like, well, my, my dad is a big space guy, UFO alien guy too. And we would always say, well, what is all this stuff made for? You know, we can't be the only ones out here. It'd be a lot of waste of space, right? All this beautiful, when you look up at the night sky, it's beautiful. But now I look at it as, what if we are the only ones? And the, whole, the only reason why that is, is to show us how important and how special we really are, is to make all these wonders and all these things just for us, as opposed to, no, you guys aren't that special. There's a whole bunch of other things out here. We just can't find it yet. But no, you guys really are the center of it all. And you guys really are that important and precious and whatever. And life does not exist anywhere else. It's just here on this planet. There is other life, but just not in this dimension, per se. This realm of reality. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so let me ask you this. Uh, Dr. Greer said that uh, the U.S. has um, alien technology and they're in possession of alien corpses. Mm -hmm. Given the fact that you don't exclusively buy into the whole alien thing like you once did, mm -hmm. do you think that he has any uh, credibility in saying that, look, the U.S. actually has technology. Oh, yeah. That, that is not of Earth. I believe that. I believe we might have technology or be in possession of something that is not from Earth. And not from Earth doesn't mean it may have been from Mars or Venus. Not from Earth, just from not this, this realm, this, 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 this universe or whatnot. But, and the alien bodies and beings, I mean... I hope we're not talking about the one that they have in Mexico, that the paper mache one looking thing. But if that's the case, I don't know. What would you, what do you think about the, the, those corpses in Mexico? I thought my first thought was, why is there still dirt like on them from the presentation? Like, why is there still dirt falling off of them? My second thought <laughs> was uh, like their nose. Most dead things when they die, like their, their nose goes away. There's no bone. In the nose, yeah. it's just the yep. whole. Yep. So I was wondering why they still have, you know, a nose and why they were still dirty. Um, if they are real, I mean, if we are in possession of stuff like that, I don't, I, I don't, I don't think, and maybe the, we're asking the wrong questions to the committees. Maybe they're not from this universe, this, what we perceive to be reality they're not even from that they're an entirely different thing and we're in possession of it but we're just asking for little green men from planet venus or mars or wherever as opposed to i don't know i don't even know how to break down dimensions or even how many there are i think they're supposed to be like 10 or something i don't know but 
Maybe they're not just from this reality. We might be in possession of it. Maybe that's why their technology is so far advanced and the things that make up alien technology you can't find in this universe because it's not, we don't have those same elements here. The, the laws of physics don't, or maybe, I don't know. I'm not a, I don't know. That's a tough one, but I just don't believe everything he says, everything. I believe a lot of it, but just not everything, everything. Like he must've had a majestic 12, like security top secret clearance, but I don't know. I've seen stuff too. I don't think it was uh, alien technology, most of it. I think some of the stuff that I've seen while overseas were advanced uh, equipment that hasn't been released yet. But I've seen stuff outside of the military where I'm like, huh, that was weird. Just weird stuff in the sky, flashing lights, weird lights that disappear, go real fast and stop. I don't know. I've seen stuff like that. I have never seen- You, you have personally seen, you've personally seen- Yeah, I have, I have it on my phone. I have it like, no joke. I have pictures on Yo, my- the Nick, Nick, Nick. I'm gonna text you, no joke. My, me, oh, I, short story. Me and my son and my wife were out walking. I swear on it, I promise you. We are walking and it looked like a mini sun, like a, a ball of fire that was, but it wasn't on fire. It was just like illuminated, real bright, very, very bright, like a ball of light from my perspective. My wife said that she said it looked like a chariot, a, a chariot on fire, but it was not that high up. It was maybe about 300 feet off the ground and the way it was moving and when it shot off and disappeared, like it just folded in on it. So it was weird. I'm not kidding. I'll send you pictures. My son saw how, it. How big would you say it is? It was about like Volkswagen, so like a small Volkswagen car, but a ball, like a, a perfect sphere that looked did, like- Did it, it have any sound? No sound, no nothing, no nothing at all. I have that on camera, then I have another one where it was three lights. I'll send it to you. They popped up and they would disappear. And like, it was a weird formation they were doing. I, it was weird. It lasted for about two minutes and it was it. I'll send you pictures of it. And it's no joke, like a ball. Yeah, I got to see this. Yeah. I, yeah. I got to see this when we're done with this conversation. Send, I might be tripping, that. but it's all, I'll, I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you. I'll post it up on Twitter too. I, I, I've always felt like cautious of posting up UFO stuff because I don't know the, 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 the stigma that comes along with it, but I don't think it's aliens. I think it's something else from, I don't know, could be about that time. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I, I, I look forward to these pictures and video. It's just the ball of light. I, I have no like flying saucer disc with wind. I have none of that. I've never seen anything like that. No windows, no disc balls of light. That's it. Okay. It might be my TBI. Fair I don't enough. know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>